Good morning and welcome to my channel and welcome to the car of your dreams. Well, maybe not your dreams, but this car is quite good to drive in. Now that I actually know how to drive it, well, you know, I'm thinking, did I always know how to drive it, but I was just too scared? I think that's probably more highly likely. So it is Sunday morning. Well, it's really nearly Sunday afternoon. Sunday isn't a day where I rush, rush along. And we have been enjoying a quiet-ish Sunday morning and just living our lives. And now I am headed to IGA, the lovely IGA. So the IGA closest to me is, I think their bread is supplied by some guy that used to own a bakery, like a shop. And then now his shop is like at home. He has like a registered commercial kitchen or something. Anyhow, he makes bread rolls that are like pillars of heaven. And I don't even eat bread rolls anymore, but I still, when I feel them, I'm like, oh yeah, oh baby, they're good. So the streets actually look quite busy outside the coffee shops. Uh, they can do their, what are they calling it? Like, takeaway only? <laughs> I don't think it's that much of a complicated thing. But obviously me thinking of the words takeaway only, felt quite complicated. So I'm gonna get the bread rolls and then I'm gonna go home and we're gonna have lunch and just, I was worried I still had it in gear. <laughs> I have done that before. It's just, you know, you arrive somewhere and take the clutch and just cork out. It's a beautiful day in our lovely town. It's time to shop. wonder what exciting things we'll see on the way home. I will say that I have slightish regrets over my parking spot. Because I'm like next to a gutter thingy. <sighs> I can do it. Don't be afraid. I should tell you that um, one time, oh, well, like one of the first times I think that I ever drove, <coughs> nervous Nelly. So nervous even just trying to talk to you guys. So one of the first times that I drove this car like on my own was to uh, the shops I just went to. I was so nervous that I just like drove around in like a circle. But then I'm like, oh, I feel better. I can, I can do this. So I drove to IGA and then parked in the car park and then parked like an idiot person that drives an automatic. No offense if you drive an automatic, you're not an idiot, just me. And when I was going to leave, the car kept like lurching, kept lurching into the gutter and I was really panicked. So because I was panicked and thinking like an idiot, I rang my husband. My husband never thinks like an idiot. He's very, mild-mannered and perfect and he told me that I need to kind of release the clutch and then I'll feel I'll feel the car sort of temporarily hold itself and you can't like release you can't bring your clutch up and just leave your car like that like you've got to You'll get better and better that you'll just be like and changing gears like a ninja. But when he told me about that, and then I actually felt that, I think you professional people call it take up point. When I felt that quiver point, that has like changed my life. 
well like it hasn't made me thinner or more beautiful but it changed my driving experience significantly that now I just feel for that point mind you prior to that I was like in the gutter in the gutter and it was hopes and prayers that I would get out of the gutter like I literally thought I would die in the gutter and they'd have to build like a, a tombstone around me in the gutter in the IGA car park but I'm a better driver now so that's a good end to the story isn't it friends oh I was already in second You awake? Mm -hmm. There you go, Leah. You got your <laughs> <sighs> I'm back. So it's many hours later since the last part of the video. And I thought to finish the video today, I might just come down and I've got James. And I might show you the basics. The, well, things I consider to be like a basic supplies for making a quilt. And then maybe this will kind of be like a soft entry into me showing people how I make quilts. So, without further ado, I'm, man, guys, I'm all out of breath because I came down here and I realized I didn't have a tripod and it was upstairs and I had to go get a tripod and I was carrying him the whole time and we were looking at birds and whew, sometimes it's hard just carrying yourself around let alone child and other stuff but let me start with saying when I first started quilting I just had like scissors and a pencil and there's no way to live like these things aren't that expensive to get I would actually like to upgrade my supplies because they've been dropped and stuff over the years as you can see but they're still usable it's just, I struggle when things aren't perfect anymore. So, a ruler like this. Is very handy to have and for cutting your fabrics. Scissors, like this. They are also very beneficial. I use them all the time. I originally got them from Spotlight when they were on sale and a rotary cutter. So in my little drawer things, just to the left, I have, where did I put it? Just talk amongst yourselves. See, this is my punishment for always moving things around. Aha, I found them. Sorry about that. So I was rummaging around looking for my spare blades and I have them at the very back because I think I'm paranoid about kids coming in and slicing their fingers off and James just had the scissors anyhow. So you can buy a ton of spare blades and stuff and then you just keep the holder bit, also got it when I was on sale, and just swap out your blade when they get dull. This is for any husbands who are watching. If your wife has sewing scissors, do not touch them ever because my husband, love him as I do, he has touched my scissors a lot and then I have to go and get them sharpened and stuff. They're only for fabric. They're not for thick cardboard or speaker wires or other thick items, are they, Benjamin? They're just for fabric and for me, for me. The other thing I think is essential for making quilts is a good cutting mat, which James is on top of right now. So I can't. Can I slide him out? Can I slide you out of the, the mat? There we go. What could possibly go wrong? big cutting mat mine's pretty huge I have a ginormous one that I leave out almost all the time but I can slide it between my two cupboards down the bottom and then it's packed away and out of the way and I actually also recommend even though I'm like pretty super minimalist multiple sized rulers are really handy as well I even have a small one it's really really worn out like I really should get a new one 
but I hate wasting. So that's what I use. So what's, what's the basic list? Basic list is scissors or rotary cutter, ruler, preferably in multiple sizes, but you can survive with big one. A cutting mat. Other people will like, I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't want to know. Just get a cutting mat. They're good. And a sewing machine. Sewing machine is fairly essential. And that's kind of like the basics. And then you go into your fabrics. Now, some people are very purist and will not cross over with different fabrics. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, if you don't really know much about fabrics or sewing at all, I highly recommend Googling, either just on Google or on YouTube, different tutorials and stuff that will explain things, such as different types of fabrics. I primarily stick with 100% cotton or quilter's cotton if I'm buying from a store. So this is quilter's cotton and you find it in the quilting section. This is also cotton, but it's called cotton duck. And it's a different weave. I don't even know what you people call it, but that is very cute. But it is kind of risky when you're crossing over fabrics. I'd never use like a dress fabric. So something that's like a slinky material or anything like that. I would stick with cottons. Some people are very purist and won't mix duck cottons. I have used them on the backs of quilts before successfully. You can get fabrics from thrift stores or op shops. I thrifted this fabric quite a few years ago. You wanna hop down? Where you go? Go over there. I often thrift fabric from op shops that's still in really good condition because I realized a lot of people do not like flat sheets. So they'll use the fitted sheet and then they'll just ditch the other sheet at the op shop. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I like vintage. So vintage fabrics are my thing that I really enjoy. Anyhow, I'm at like high level stage of distraction. James has gone and discovered the Lego over on the other side. And I should probably go and return to my family. So that's Sunday done. And I do hope that you have a wonderful Sunday evening and it is relaxing. And that you have kind of got a game plan for Monday and the rest of the week that we can, you know, keep on keeping on. And he's found the pantry stuff. <laughs> and that we can just enjoy the one life that we have and be peaceful and content. So until next time, take care. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.